All right, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the tempo of a sample or a song in FL Studio 20. So um, what I would look for are samples that tell you the BPM. It's always just good to just know it. But if it's not there, which is which is the case a lot of the times, what you can do is just drag the sound in here, double click it, double click on it here, right click, go to detect tempo. And it's going to give you a, a solid estimate. So this one is technically, uh, what does it say, 156, but it says 131 here. And then what it's going to do is going to adjust, it's going to adjust your BPM to fit it. But what I like to do is um, really just try to fit it so I could get it in an actual drum pattern. So for instance, I want it to repeat to the point where I can actually use it. So I'm just going to stretch it out here because if it's here, it's just going to like stop and then I'm not going to be able to like finish. It's going to make the pattern weird. So like, I'll just stretch it out like that. And then stretch it out again. And you wanna make sure it sounds right when you repeat it too. That's a key. That's definitely a key to success right there. So that's, that's gonna work. Or you could just go in from there, you know? You know what I'm saying? But you don't, yeah, you don't want all that skippage. Matter of fact, let's go back in again. Yeah, see? We want it to just like right there. We want it. We want to want that extra like stuff there. We don't want that. That's cool right there. See, you gotta you gotta zoom in. What I did there is I just zoomed in and I held Alt. Hold Alt. You can make that tight, tight, tight adjustment. That's key with samples and getting it right. It's gonna help. It's gonna improve your ability to actually like again make actual patterns. So that's just like how you find the BPM tempo. So, you know, just for example, we could just go in real quick, be like some like, you know, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, 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 clap, you know? You know what I'm saying something like that uh, but like I said if it's not stretched out say we stretch it out like this you know I'm sure you guys get it but like say we stretch it out like this and it's like that and like it's on beat you know what I'm saying and then we just try to do this it's just not gonna sound right it's gonna make it way too hard to make patterns so you just always want to get it like here it's got to be here or here but this is probably too slow but you could do that too See how it's like, it sounds weird, but at least it's on beat. But that's how to detect tempo. Um, yep, y'all. Word out. And hopefully y'all got something from this one. If not, you know, ain't my fault. I tried. Y'all got, y'all had, go ahead, cop this How to Make Beats book. Nah, it's a real good book. Nah, it's only 11.35. You can get it on Amazon. It'll arrive in two days. Um, we have it integrated with Amazon. So go ahead and check that one out. Great for beginners and intermediate users, y'all. So that's it for this video. Slime Green Beats, The Wave. Peace out.